Welcome back to Ox Tools, I'm Tom. So uh, what we got going in this video is uh, we got a new tool in the shop and uh, it's another uh, Noga indicator holder and you guys know how much I, uh, I really like the Noga products, uh, the indicator holders in particular. Um, this is the very, very smallest version I think they sell with a magnet. So we're going to show um, the holder itself and um, um, and how uh, it's how we can use it in the shop. Uh, this this small uh, size uh, indicator holder. So we'll show a couple of scenarios uh, how it gets used. So uh, let's uh, crack the box open. Uh, let's have a look at some goodies and uh, and uh, how we can put it to use in the shop. Here. Okay, so nothing like a, a a Noga box to crack open and uh, take a look at some goodies in. So this is the itty bittiest one here. And uh, this is the model uh, LC holder. Um, this is an LC6210. Uh, uh, that's Noga's part number. Uh, this came from uh, Travers Tool. Um, they were running a, a Noga sale. And um, I've been looking at these. And uh, actually, they were the only ones that carried the uh, this small one with a small pot magnet like this so this is a kind of a nice size and uh, and I'll show you how uh, I have one like this at work it's not a Noga it's a, a FISO um, but uh, uh, I'll show you how I uh, how I use it sometimes uh, at work and it's kind of a nice size and it's uh, it's compact so it gets into the, the it gets into some of those places that you can't get the uh, the larger ones into anyway it's always fun to buy tools so this one has the uh, a couple of indicator mounting options here. We got uh, the three ace uh, that fits the standard stem here on a uh, on an indicator here, like so. And okay, there it goes, tightening up. So now you can position that. Um, you know, a three ace stem, a full size one. That's probably going to be a little much for this, although. Now this is nice and flat and smooth. It grips pretty good. So, uh, but on a you know a crummy uh, casting or something like that, or something with paint on it, it might not uh, it might not grab grab so good. So, this is how I intend to use it. Let me uh, pull this one off of here. And there's that uh, that Gila film that, uh, that I showed the other day. So this has got this. Uh, I don't know. It's a five millimeter dovetail I think and uh, the tip is or the end of this is dovetailed so this can go in like so now just so you know this doesn't have a fine adjust on it so uh, you know if you're gonna if you're gonna place this you gotta fuss around with it a little bit but uh, um, the compactness is uh, is the attractiveness of this particular one um, so yeah, this is an LC6210, uh, six inch S round magnet, LC holder. Anyway, I'll put the part number on the screen and you can see that. So uh, let's, uh, let's go check out how we might use this, uh, this new bit of kit here. Okay, so we're over here on the mill and uh, there's a couple, of, uh, a couple of spots that you can use it here that work out pretty good. One is uh, right underneath here, um, right alongside this, you can uh, you can get it on the uh, on the end of the quill. Now that isn't a rotating part, but if you want to indicate the vise or do something uh, like that, um, you can. Okay, so and then you can just pop it right off. So that's pretty good. Uh, and the other way that I use it is uh, when there's a chuck in. Let's uh, tip that over at an angle. You can you can pop it right on the end of a chuck. Um, let's pop that in neutral there. So now you can uh, you can sweep something like that. So sometimes that's a quick way to to get it in the uh, uh, get it in the mill. And then you know this totally omnidirectional arm is just freaking awesome. So uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So um, this is the beauty of these Noga holders here, and uh, is this. Uh, this very nice articulating arm, uh, smooth action, and all that. So, and uh, so let's uh, we'll go over on the lathe and uh, see if we can figure something out over there. Okay, so over here on the lathe, and uh, with our new little Noga, and this one's cool because you can 
Let's see, that in the frame there? No. Get up a little closer there, should have backed it up. Okay, so you know you can just pop this right on the tool post here and uh, get it up in there and get it into action pretty quickly here. And uh, hopefully uh, you can kind of read the dial a little bit with this film on there. Um, the other thing we can do, um, so you know that's one way, and uh, the other thing we can do here is we can reverse this and we can pop it off and we can do the same, oops, we can do the same thing here and uh, we can get this on the on the uh, the rotation here Let me get it out of the way so now we can do something crazy like uh, perhaps we want to uh, we want to sweep our our tailstock for example uh, which is yeah you do it every once in a while right so we might do that Kind of hard to see though, huh? <laughs> so this is one where you, uh, you know, you get a little mirror and you can watch it go around and uh, uh, you, you can't crank your head around and do that. So that's, that's another use. Uh, you can just snap it on with a magnet. Um, and if you have a tool block in there or a, a piece of work, you can still get it on there typically. So um, um, anyway, a couple uses for that new LC. Uh, Noga holder and uh, you'll be seeing it in the videos because I'm gonna be using it anyway. Thanks for watching